Right, I'm back. I never even noticed. Uh, let's talk to her, I guess. Hello. Well, hello there, mister. Welcome to Valda's Inn. I'm Martha Garrett, but everyone calls me Ma. How can I help you? I'm Nelson Tethers. I have a reservation. Oh, yeah, you're here about the Eraser Factory, eh? We're awfully excited to have a real FBI man in our town. It's just like TV, yeah? Ooh, I'm gonna make some hot dish for you later. A hot dish? Oh, you'll love it. I've never met a man who didn't love himself some hot dish. So, uh, what room am I in? Yeah, okay, I've got your room right here. Oh dear, this is so embarrassing. The night clerk wrote down your room number in code. Hmm. Mind if I have a look? I bet I can figure out what room I'm in. Security. <clears throat> Security-minded night clerk not uh, notated Nelson's room number in cryptic form. Help Martha see what's written so you can get your keys. You know, that always happens to me. Every hotel. That's it. It's just nine. Oh, that was probably too easy. I'm sure I got it wrong. I got it right! <laughs> Taxpayer dollars. That's pretty good. There you go, Mrs. Garrett. Oh, yeah, now I see. Okay, then. Here's your room key, FBI man. Thanks. Actually, while I have you here, do you mind if I ask you a couple questions? Real quick, I promise. Oh, yeah, of course. How do I get to the factory from here? The FBI doesn't know where the factory is? Oh, dear. Our moose is cooked. Rest assured, ma'am, the FBI just likes to confirm intelligence with civilian knowledge of... We like to double-check things. Oh, of course. Well, it's easy. I have a tourist map of our little town of Scoggins right here. You know, our Scoggins Erasers is the plant that supplies the White House with all of its erasers. The president could be fixing a mistake with a Scoggins eraser right now. Yes, ma'am. That's why I'm here. That and the fact that every time the Bureau made an inquiry into the situation, all we ever got back were bizarre puzzles. Oh, yeah. Well, that'll happen. Do you know anything about the problem at the factory? Yeah, so tragic about the accident, huh? Accident? Oh, yeah, the foreman, Isaac Davner, they say he was killed in there. Is that so? Well, not to be gossipy, but I heard the accident was caused by raccoons. Raccoons? Yeah, little creatures that live in the woods around the factory. Maybe you should go talk to Sheriff Bog about it, though. You should be able to catch him out by the factory right now. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. The guy in the lobby, is he okay? Oh, that's Bo Murphy. He's always been a bit of an odd one. Yeah, he sits there all day trying to do his puzzles. He mostly keeps to himself, and I bring him some food from time to time. Sometimes I swear he'd starve to death if I didn't bring him something to eat. Thanks. Well, goodbye. Enjoy your stay. Oh, that reminds me. Do you have any gum for sale? Or know where I can buy some? Dear, we've been out of gum for quite some time. What? Haven't seen a stick in months anywhere in town. We tend to get shipments of things like that in the spring. So, no gum? Nope. Gum helps me concentrate. Well, we finally found Waldo. What was that? <laughs>
Nelson Tethers thinks best when he's chewing gum. Any kind of gum. Find discarded gum and use it to get a hint during a sticky puzzle. He's not gonna chew it, is he? It's used. Excuse me, you look perplexed. Puzzles. So many puzzles. Puzzles? I might be able to help you with that. Bo has swallowed a rubber band again. His x-ray, uh, uh, I'm sorry, his x-ray shows only tapeworms, or does it? Rotate segments of the pesky parasites to reveal the hidden object. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, so they just rotate. We got this. That one is correct, I think. Here doesn't look quite right. I mean, even though I know it is. Well, I'm gonna have to go with it, I'm afraid. Yep. Oh! rubber band will form a continuous loop. Oops. Maybe you can relax a little. Plenty of whispers. If it's an acrostical enigma, maybe it's a Baltimore trans deletion. The whispers? Or not. It's like Woody Allen and Waldo all wrapped up in one. Yeah, tapeworms, and not, not sure exactly how it you know, got there, but. Uh... Oh, got a phone call coming in. I'll see you in a few seconds then. Thank you.